You're watching ABC 7 News at 4 on your side. Well, the Pentagon says it is too early to tell how well plans to quarantine U.S. troops returning from responding to the Ebola outbreak will work. The plan was released on the same day that an American doctor who survived the illness went to the White House to talk about the American response. Marcy Gonzalez has the latest on Ebola in America. But the struggle is far from over. More medical personnel are desperately needed. Today, Ebola survivor Dr. Kent Brantley and other healthcare workers back from treating patients in West Africa meeting with President Obama at the White House. And we need to call them what they are, which is American heroes. They deserve our gratitude. And they deserve to be treated with dignity and with respect. The debate over how to respond to those coming home from the front lines of the Ebola epidemic heating up. The nurse who returned from Sierra Leone only to be confined to a tent outside a New Jersey hospital for three days, now taking a stand. Casey Hickox, who tested negative for the virus and still has no symptoms, is now quarantined in her home in Maine, something she feels is unreasonable. I think we're just only adding to uh, stigmatization that, again, is not based on science or evidence. And if these restrictions are not removed from for me from the state of Maine by tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, uh, I will go to court to attain my freedom. Maine is one of at least nine states with quarantine guidelines in place. Also going beyond CDC recommendations, the U.S. military announcing today all service members returning from West Africa will be isolated for 21 days. And here in Manhattan, the only Ebola patient in the country, Dr. Craig Spencer, is still hospitalized, listed in serious but stable condition. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, New York.